guys we had our very first frost last night uh we're getting real close to winter i gotta get this thing done that's what we're out here doing today got a fresh cup of sludge you saw a minute ago that's what i do to keep my saw safe from all the elements when it's out here in the bush i'm gonna get down to work get cutting i've got some stuff to do here today obviously many of you don't know but there's actually going to be wood along the bottom so that it looks like a ship a pirate ship that is so we're going to go ahead and do that if you guys come with me over here you're also going to notice this thing is back out in a different location got this thing fixed check out my previous video or at least one of the recent ones for that fix i don't know what was wrong with it but i put a brand new uh carburetor on there top the oil up check the fuel new air filter runs like a top at least i'm hoping it continues that way what we're doing over here we're getting this into place some of you guys have mentioned this as an idea for me i uh, went ahead and did it this right here is going to be a net you can climb up the back of the pirate ship building a frame going to attach the net to the frame put the frame up there call it good uh, actually one more thing on this side <clears throat> if you guys have a look at this we're going to have a bit of a climbing wall here so you climb up there to get into the opening up top so i got to finish that and if we make our way on this side somewhere up that area up the top of the crow's nest i'm going to put a mast on that mast i've got like a, a shade that's going to go over that and i'm not quite sure how that's going up there but it's gonna one way or another that's for sure so we got some new lumber in the trailer that i just cut from the sawmill we got this lumber down here nope down there that's going to go up along the bottom got to tell you we got some work ahead of us winter's coming check this out guys it's still september here i don't know when the video is coming out but it's still september here this is how you know when winter's coming and this is when sort of the fire gets lit underneath my behind to get to work see that that right there is ice oh boy let's get to it it's getting it i guess barely okay oh well this impact driver is older than i am not actually but when I bought it, it was years and years. I bet I've been using this for 10 years. Got an aftermarket battery, not ideal, but use what you can. Yep, that one's just about pooched. good there's good enough that's probably the ladder no pun intended okay bingo let's continue on all right today's a bust if this doesn't work fuels on choke okay come on
leave the generator going to charge my batteries for my impact driver, at least for a little while. What I'm going to do now is square this. You can square it by taking the distance on the diagonals, and they should be exactly the same. If they're not, then you adjust accordingly. I'm using to secure it with. I got an inch and a quarter screw and then a washer. Sandwiches the uh, netting in between the wood and obviously the uh, net. after and add additional additional supports here. I'm just getting it stretched out as tight as I can and then we'll fix the wrap. as heavy as it looks.
All right, guys, we have the mask, aka the sunshade up. I tied it up. Uh, obviously, it's easier to tie when it's down here than up there. I don't have through bolts that I'm looking for. I want bolts to go all the way through this post here. I don't have them, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put adhesive. I'm going to use a clamp. We'll screw it for now. I will get the bolts, and uh, the bolts will go in when I do get them. So, wish me luck. guess if it uh, falls over, no one to blame but me. I think it should be absolutely fine, though. We're going to apply a liberal amount of adhesive here. Clamps ready, screwdrivers ready. Okay. Okay. Try not to get this in the adhesive. Okay, this is gonna be an effort. Stand back, if this goes, I'm letting it go. Okay, let's clamp her, check her for plumb. Hope we don't get a big wind gust. Okay. Wow, that was an effort, I tell ya. Jokes aside, that was an effort. Well, I can tell you this much, it sits pretty nicely, so even if it's off plumb just a little bit, we're calling that good, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, no joke, that's right on. I don't know about this way. Yeah, that's good, that's good stuff. Okay. That's good stuff right there. All right, let's go up top. Just put a few screws in the back side, and we'll see how she looks. <sighs> Built for children. Love when it just about runs out of batteries when you need it. Just a beautiful thing. One more for good measure. Well, let's see if we can get this one. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's see if we can get down here. Oh, you guys haven't seen this yet. I'd go down the slide, but I'm sure my body weight would collapse it and you'd see me fall about 10 feet. Oh yeah. That's gonna be amazing. Look at that. Okay, we need to figure out what angle it's going at. Gee, we could just do that, couldn't we? Come on back here, you guys tell me. Come on back here. So I'm gonna have the uh, I'm gonna have the rope make its way right up here to the front or bow as we call it. So we got a few options. If you can imagine, this would be the angle the rope would be at. I don't know if that's a bit low. Alternatively, I could put a bit of a piece sticking up a few feet, and then we have something like that. That might be kind of neat. What do you guys think? I kind of like that. Come on back here. Let's get a measure. You guys see? Let's get a little measure room. I don't know. What do you think? Something like that? So we'll make it, 
It's a 32 inches. Yeah, we'll make her 32 inches. Put her right back. Yeah, I know that's an eye gouger. Trust me, that's coming out. Got the wrong length screws. If you guys don't know about wild turkeys, they can see way better than you or I. And Those ones were just up on the playground there. and Well, I just scared them off as I drove in in the golf cart. But they're hanging around. They must, uh, they must be after something in there. I don't know how many I can see in there. One, two, three, four, five. I saw more than that. But I remember seeing those guys. They've been growing up all summer out here. So kind of interesting to see them hanging around. Anyways, I'm not going to disturb them. Just thought you guys might like to see them, especially if you're not familiar with them. They're uh, quite a bit different looking than the big turkeys you see in the in the farms that you might get at uh, at holiday time. Anyways, we'll leave those guys alone. I just was uh, trying not to disturb them here. Here's where we're at, guys. I can tell you first and foremost, this project has taken me way longer than I anticipated, and I think that pretty much happens when you start adding things on and refining things and you don't really have a game plan. I had a general idea how this was going to go in my head. I think way back when, probably a month ago when I started making this, I said it would take me three days. Well, I can tell you it didn't take me three days. It pretty well took me a day just to get that net figured out. But this is where we're at. We are like this close to finishing. I, uh, I just have to finish the bottom boards, the boards that go down here. You guys are probably looking at this and you're saying, wow, that looks great, but it doesn't quite look like a ship yet. And uh, that's that's the whole goal. So these boards right here that I've cut, I think they're, what are they? One inch or three quarters of an inch by 10 or something. They're going down here and that's what I'm gonna be doing next time. And that's gonna wrap up this project. If we have a look up there. We have accomplished quite a bit, I think. You guys can see we've got the mass up there and we've got our little makeshift sail. There's another flag, a Jolly Roger that's going up on the very top. On this side, we also just got finished putting this climbing wall up and unfortunately, one of them were cracked and I didn't notice until I installed it. So I just have to switch that out, but that's the climbing wall there. 
and I cut the nice angle on there as best I could freehand. And as I said, over on this side, one of the things that took the most time was this net. Now, I know many of you are going to say, what's with the horizontal pieces there? Uh, these two by fours, I had to put them in because as you pulled the net tight, it would actually bow the outside boards. And this is a pretty big surface area to, uh, to have just an open frame. And so I had to put something to support it. Trust me, it works. It's solid. No one's getting hurt. Lots of fun. So that's where we're at, guys. We're going to button up all the loose ends next time. And then I'm going to go and get the apprentice pirates, cut them loose and say, have fun. I think that's the whole goal. Get them out here, get them having fun and sit back and relax. Enjoy it. So in the meantime, you guys all take care out there. Be well, make sure you subscribe, give her the old like a and I'll see you next time.